Bun 1.0 is finally here. Bun is a complete toolkit for building, running, testing, and debugging JavaScript and TypeScript from a small script to a full stack server-side rendered application. You'll see how Bun can make your life as a developer more productive, less frustrating, and most importantly, more fun. Let's jump in. Bun exists for a simple reason. JavaScript is too complicated. Now, some of this complexity is warranted. The JavaScript ecosystem is popular and it's mature, and there's a lot of great tools out there, and that's great. But in other ways, things have just gotten unnecessarily complicated. Our repos have a thousand node modules and half a dozen configuration files with plugins and adapters to get everything to play nice together. Most code we write has to be passed through an opaque build system of transpilers and bundler plugins before it's in a form that can actually be executed by Node.js. And to top it off, we're in the middle of a years-long and very painful transition between CommonJS and ES modules, each of which comes with different syntax and module resolution rules. Bun eliminates unnecessary complexity without throwing away everything that's great about JavaScript, the ecosystem, the conventions, the libraries, and the frameworks that we all know and love. There are a lot of tools in the Bun toolkit, but the crown jewel is the Bun runtime. Bun is a drop-in replacement for Node.js that's backwards compatible and can run TypeScript and TSX files, no dependencies necessary. But most importantly, it's fast. Now let's start small. If we run a simple Hello World script, it takes Bun only eight milliseconds. In Node.js, it takes 32. That's a 4x difference just to say hello. And if we're running TypeScript, things get a little trickier. We need to transpile our TypeScript file before we can even run it. With ES build, the time to build and run takes about 40 milliseconds. With TSX, that's 120. And with TSC, it's 350. That's 45 times slower than Bun. Now, of course, you're rarely running scripts directly with Node. You'll usually use a command like npm run dev to run your dev script. With Bun, you can replace any npm run command with Bun run instead. On a MacBook Pro, it takes npm about 150 milliseconds to start running a script. In Bun, it takes just 30. npm feels noticeably laggy, whereas Bun feels instantaneous. Performance remains a key guiding principle for Bun's design. But since we're already building a new runtime, we figured we might as well bake some features into Bun to make your life easier as a developer. We've mentioned TypeScript and JSX support already. These work out of the box with Bun. There's no dependencies required. In Bun, both CommonJS and ES modules are supported, and they work all the time. Developers have wasted way too much time worrying about incompatibility between CommonJS versus ESM. With Bun, they both just work. In fact, you can import and require in the same file. Bun has support for hot reloading using dash dash hot. When hot reloading is enabled, you edit a file and it will reload your code without restarting the process. In this example, Bun is running a WebSocket server. When Bun hot reloads, the code is reloaded, but the connection stays alive. This way, your application updates instantaneously without losing state. Bun also has a plugin API that lets you define custom loaders. You can extend the Bun runtime to support things like .yaml imports. It uses an API that is inspired from ESBuild, which means many ESBuild plugins just work in Bun. One Bun enthusiast even wrote a plugin that lets you import Rust files in your JavaScript. The imported Rust file gets compiled on the fly and called using Bun's FFI API. Bun has baked in APIs for the things you need most as a developer. Now, for example, if you want to read a file, you can just use Bun file. Bun file returns a file object. It has the same properties as the file API in browsers. But more importantly, this allows Bun to lazily load files only when you need it. When you're ready to read the content of a file, the object gives you a handful of useful methods for rendering in different formats. If you've used browser APIs before, this pattern looks very familiar. Writing files is also really easy. Use the bun write API to write pretty much anything to disk, a string, file, buffer. You can even use an HTTP request. Bun writes three times faster than Node.js and reads files up to 10 times faster. Use bun-serve to easily spin up an HTTP server. Bun-serve is based on web APIs like request and response. This server can handle four times more requests per second than the equivalent in Node.js. And what about WebSockets? Bun-server is highly optimized for message throughput. 
Bond can handle 1 million messages per second, which outperforms the equivalent Node.js package by a factor of five. Bond also exposes a publish and subscribe API for WebSockets. This allows you to easily broadcast messages to certain topics with the same performance as if you were doing it in native code. Bun has built-in hashing. It even has support for password hashing using Bcrypt and Argon. And that is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Bun's APIs. Bun is a drop-in replacement for Node.js, and it implements around 40 of Node's built-in modules. At this point, certain rarely used modules like Dgram and Inspector are not yet implemented. Others like the V8 module expose details of Node.js's internal V8 engine, which does not apply to Bun, which is based on WebKit. Ultimately, we're taking a very pragmatic approach to Node.js compatibility and focusing on the APIs that are actually useful to developers. So if you have an API server implemented with something like Hono, Express, or Koa, it'll just work. So will 99% of full stack applications, including anything built with a major framework like Next.js, Remix, V, Astro, and Nuxt. Of course, before you get started with any of those frameworks, you'll need to install dependencies. That's why Bun is not just a runtime. Bun is a Node.js compatible package manager. It's a familiar experience to anyone who's used a package manager before. But trust me, you've never seen a package manager this fast. On our latest benchmark, Bun installs your packages 29 times faster than NPM and 17 times faster than PNPM. Bun is careful to avoid unnecessary network calls when resolving versions of downloading code. Bun also uses the fastest available system calls on each operating system to copy hundreds of thousands of files in a fast and scalable way. Keep in mind, Bun can be used as a package manager entirely independent of the Bun runtime. Functionally, it behaves identically to NPM, Yarn, and PNPM. It's just faster. It reads your package JSON, downloads packages from a registry, and installs them into your Node modules folder where they can be discovered later by Bun or Node.js. Bun also supports all the features you'd expect from your package manager, things like workspaces, custom registries, Git dependencies, local package linking, the works. Though, when you're waiting for your CI, most of the time isn't spent installing dependencies. It's spent running your tests. That's why Bun is also an incredibly fast test runner. Bun provides a familiar Jest compatible API. Import the usual functions like test, expect, and mock from the Bun test module. You get all the benefits of the Bun runtime out of the gate like TypeScript and JSX, top-level await, ESM support. No need for a plugin like TS Jest. It just works. We benchmark Jest, Vitest, and Bun against the test suite for the schema validation library Zod. Bun was eight times faster than the runner-up Vitest and 13 times faster than Jest, even when it was using SWC for transpiling. Well, Bun's expect matchers are implemented in highly optimized native code, where in Jest, it has to be compared in JavaScript. This means that Bun's implementation of expect.toEqual is a hundred times faster than Jest. Bun is ready to use today. To install it in GitHub Actions, use the official setup Bun action. If you're looking to deploy an application, check out the official Docker image. And to install it on your local machine with a single command, head to bun.sh for instructions. Thanks for joining us to celebrate this major milestone. It's been incredible to see Bun as a community grow over the past two years. So thank you to everyone on Discord and Twitter who've been following along and to our over 300 contributors. But this is just the beginning. We're working on a new way to deploy JavaScript and TypeScript to production. And we're hiring low-level system engineers if you want to help us build the future of JavaScript. You can also join us on our Discord server. You'll get a sneak peek at what we're working on next. And it's a great way to get quick feedback or support for your projects. So that's it. Bun 1.0 is here, and we're just getting started. <laughs>